What's up everyone, this is Cybernad, and today I have a very special opening for you guys because today I'm going to open up six packs of Yu-Gi-Oh! Cyber Dark Impact. So, yeah, this is, well, it's a set that I've always kind of made fun of, I think a lot of people have, and honestly, I think it's become one of my favorite sets from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. So I thought it'd be fun to get a few of these. Uh, they are all first edition as well. I'd love to get a box of this set, but I had a hard time even just finding a box, and especially if you do find one, I know it's going to be expensive. So I was able to get a few packs, and I'm hoping... Let's get something awesome, you know? I mean, this set actually does have a lot of good commons here. That's what's funny about this set, too. I think the commons and rares are usually worth more than the holographics, which I find that to be hilarious. <laughs> because this, this is the set that gave us, like, instant fusion. The barrier statues are in this. I mean, it really does have a lot of good cards in this. Just back then, especially, uh, not many people thought much about this set. That's what's funny about how it changed. So, let's see what we have here. Also, if you guys want to see more random openings like this, be sure to like the video and subscribe. So I'm trying to do more random older opening videos, kind of, you know, just for fun. Let's see. And Beast of Ares, Accumulated Fortune. Oh, there's a Barrier Statue, Barrier Statue of the Inferno. That's actually good. Uh, Chain Strike. And we have Cyber Dark Keel. Oh man, I got a Cyber Dark. For a second I was like, wait, that, that's actually a holo. <laughs> First edition holographic. Oh man, that's a good way to start off the open. He really doesn't look holographic though when I'm looking through the camera. If you look around the camera, you can tell. Oh, that is awesome. See, I remember too, this is an older set, so you either get a holo or a rare. You're not getting both, and you're not guaranteed a holo, obviously. So I, I should probably should have said that at the beginning. Older set, so that's the reason. Corrupted Cell A. Uh, Blast Asmo Asmodan? Asmodian, I guess? <laughs> I don't know, I could be saying that wrong. Chain Healing and uh, Alien Infiltrator. But yeah, I'm happy we got a Cyber Dark. <laughs> that's awesome. There we are. Let's see what else we have here. I kind of hope we get the fusion. But mainly, I'm really hoping I can get an Ultimate because it's a set where I can. So, that's what I'm crossing my fingers for. Uh, we have Chain Strike, Barrier Statue of the Abyss, so we got the dark one. Just a Break, I think that might have been the sneak preview card for back then. Also, Barrier Statue of Drought, so that is the Earth one. And Combo Master. I always thought this guy was kind of funny looking. He kind of looks like he should have his own workout tape or something, right? I don't know, that's what I've always thought. Kind of cool, that's our rare. Uh, Corrupted Cell A. Uh, Blast Asmodian. I'm going to go with that. I think that's actually how you say it. Chain Healing and Alien Infiltrator. So I think basically the same last four cards. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Alright, next up. What do we have? Let's get the Fusion, you know? That'd be awesome. Let's see. Man Beast of Ares. Then Accumulated Fortune. We're getting a lot of the same ones over and over. Uh, Very Statue of the Inferno. Again, that's good. Chain Strike. And, uh, let's see, Blasting Fuse. Oh, yeah, that's the one with Cannon Soldier on it. Okay. Yeah, Cannon Soldier's been on a lot of trap cards, hasn't he? That's pretty cool looking. I've always felt bad for Cannon Soldier. I know. Weird thing to say, but seriously. I like the artwork, too. It looks cool. Level Down. Snipe Hunter. That was another really good comment from this set. Uh, Alien Mars. And uh, Senate Switch. Oh, there we go. This card was getting hype. Remember uh, when we first heard about, like, Link Summoning and everything, too? That's actually pretty interesting. Still have three packs left, so I'm hoping for something awesome. Have Stray uh, Asmodian. Oh, so there is two cards of that name. I don't think I've ever noticed that. Uh, Instant Fusion. There you go. Man Beast of Ares. Accumulated Fortune. And we have a Miraculous Rebirth. Quick Play Spell. Oh, well, that's kind of cool to see. Rare card. Chain Detonation. Lucius Level 4. Level Down. And Snipe Hunter. Not bad. A lot of Chain Burn cards, by the way, in this. Yeah, that was another thing. Maybe that's one of the reasons people don't like this set, right? Nobody wants to go up against Chainburn. Well, at least I'm starting to see some different comments. We were getting like the same ones there at the beginning. First three. Uh, Mystical Wind Typhoon. Then uh, Straight Flush. Stray Asmodian. Instant Fusion. And a Vanity's Fiend! Oh man, that's awesome! First edition rare! Yeah, that was another one of the better cards of the set. I'm happy that this card was finally reprinted in the brand new uh, Lair of Darkness structure deck. So, you can get this a lot easier now, but first edition uh, rare like that, that's pretty freaking cool. So that's awesome. It was always like one of the pricier cards of the set too. Again, being a rare or common, there were actually more cards like that that were better than the holographics. I still find that to be kind of funny. Let's see, a Linear Accelerator uh, Cannon. Uh, a Baki. Sure, I'll go with that. Uh, chain Destruction, and uh, then we, er, yeah, Detonation, excuse me, I'll say I said that wrong. And uh, Dark Lucius, level four. 
All right, now we're down to our last pack. Okay, can we end with the hollow? Let's see, because I really want to try to get, you know, another Cyber Dark or something from this last pack. Come on, heart of the cards, help us out here. Or more fairy statues, I really wouldn't complain if I got a few more of those. Either one sounds cool, let's see. First off, we have Ritual of Far Gone, then Combo Fighter, Flame Ogre, Vanity's Call, and... I have a rare, so unfortunately not a hollow, but it is a Lightning uh, Punisher. Pretty cool looking card though. I mean, he's kind of neat. Then also Counter Cleaner, uh, Allure Queen level three, haven't seen that yet. And we got another Barrier Statue. Let's see, this one's Barrier Statue of the Storm Winds. So there we go, and Snipe Hunter. So yep, that's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, nothing, I guess, just insanely crazy. I mean, it is Cyber Dark Impact, so I guess I wasn't expecting anything too much on that. But honestly, we got a lot of good commons and rares from this. I got a Vanity's Fiend, which is automatically just an amazing card from this set. Got a bunch of Snipe Hunters, Barrier Statues, Intent Fusions even. So those are pretty cool. And I did start with the Hollow as well. I should have ended with that pack, right? I could have ended with the Hollow. <laughs> but yeah, I got a Cyber Dark, so I'm pretty happy about that too. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, thank you guys for watching. Watching. Be sure to hit that like button. You enjoyed the video. You want to see more older pack openings and uh, let me know in the comments what other packs you would like to see. If you want to see more Cyberdark Impact or I don't know other GX packs. I was thinking maybe uh, what was the other one? Um, Enemy of Justice was one I was thinking about just because Neos. If you guys want to see some other openings, you have some requests, let me know down in the comments and uh, yeah, subscribe, ring the bell and of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.